you know anything about me, I'm sort of a notoriously private person. I'm shy, and sometimes my introverted nature holds me back, frankly, just like it probably does many of you. It's one of the things all the shy people need to work on. But one of the things I've decided in my life is I need to let you in my life more and be a little bit more open. My reasoning for that is, you know, I've told you before, I think mentors have good influence over people. Mentors are like school teachers with your kids. They influence them and they shape their hearts and minds. But if you really think about who really influences your kids, it's their friends. That's who you worry about, who they're hanging around, isn't it? Because friendship is the highest form of influence. And I feel like if we're really going to live your dream, we're going to make it happen. You and I need to become better friends. So I'm going to let you in my life a little bit more. And uh, hopefully you'll let me in yours. Now, by the way, I'm literally letting you in my wine room here in Laguna Beach. You're inside it with me here. And all my homes have these beautiful wine rooms because I wanted to build my life almost like I was living on vacation. So we're in my bar right now. I designed this beautiful bar that overlooks the entire Pacific Ocean. I love to enjoy friends and family in this room and make dreams happen. I also like to be in here alone. It's where I can get clarity and where I do some praying and meditation. I get clear on what I want. My focus increases. It's one of the probably four or five most spectacular pieces of real estate in the world, sitting right here in Laguna Beach in Three Arch Bay, oceanfront. Doesn't get much better than that, because I wanted to feel like I'm living on vacation. I can't always act like I'm on vacation, but I wanted to live on vacation, so I'd have to go places all the time to enjoy my life. Why not just live there, right? So let me take you outside, and you can kind of take a look around. You can see what I get to see every single day. But I have a uh, Infinity Edge jacuzzi that overlooks the ocean. I love to be in there in the morning, as you've heard on my podcast. It's very cold, wakes me up and alert, or I jump in the ocean, I get awake and alert. Same time I can get in there at night when I want it to be warm. But you can see one of the most spectacular views really ever. And one of the reasons I ended up here is because I used to go touch my dreams. And I want to recommend that to you. See, the more you get comfortable in your dreams, because guess what? You belong in your dreams. You belong living your dreams. Now, one of the ways you get comfortable being in them is from time to time you touch them. Whether that be if you have a really good month or two and you've done very well, go take one night and go stay down at a beautiful hotel on the ocean and just touch for that night what it would be like to live on the ocean and live like a wealthy person or test drive that car you might want or maybe your dream is that you want to generate all your time in your church or your charity or feeding people. Take a day and go feed people for the day. Take a day and spend a weekday in your church and feel like it would be like to get to live that freedom every single day because the more we touch our dreams, the more apt we are to live in them and feel comfortable in them. And so from time to time, touch them. And every single time you do that, a little bit closer you are to living in it, you're more comfortable being there. You believe you belong there because ultimately, we live in our life where we believe we belong, at the place we believe we belong, and what we believe we deserve and what we're worth. And the more we touch our dreams, the more we feel like we belong in them, the more we're gonna fulfill our destiny and live in them and max out our lives. Go touch your dreams and I'm gonna get closer with you showing you mine.